everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a review of the Jaru uh, Lab Putty. So this is the triple pack. So it comes with three different putties, the mini tins, it comes with the liquid glass uh, putty, with the UV reactant where it comes with this little LED uh, scribbler where you can draw on it, and it also comes with this glow in the dark putty. So these are the three mini tins, and I bought these because I wanted to see how they compare with Aaron's Thinking Putty. If you guys know those, I have done um, I, I I have done a, a few reviews of Aaron's Thinking Putty. I'm 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 a big fan of it. I really like it, and 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 I decided to review these ones to see how they compare with Aaron's Thinking Putty because these are a little bit of a cheaper option. So I was curious uh, what what your money worth is and 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 how they compare with with Aaron's Thinking Putty just because I never really tried any of the lower um, of like the lower grade ones so I'm curious how these ones work so let's go check it out okay so here is the packet itself it says lab putty and then it says triple pack so we have the three different packs here we have the liquid glass the mag the fluorescent with the UV reactive and then we have the gl the night glowing one and then on the back it just has some things here for you guys. You can draw on and it glows and it's also liquid glass too. Alright, so now let's open it up. Okay, so now here's the liquid glass. I'll, I'll take off the plastic. Okay, so I just took off the plastic piece. I'll take it out of the tin. Definitely clear, as you guys can tell that. First off, pretty stretchy. Um, it definitely pulls apart very easy. You just kind of pull that, and it breaks off really easy. And it kind of, it kind of has a, it kind of has a little bit of a smell to it. It's not too bad though. It's definitely not. I mean, it still stretches if you pull slow. It's stretchy if you pull slow. And when and when I, and when I crinkle and when I smush it together, it still makes that little bit of a crinkle noise. But definitely clear putty though. Okay, so here's the UV reactive putty. Take off the top, and it has this little plastic seal. It seems like they all have this little plastic part that you just take off. So here it is first. Let's take it out of the tin. This one still kind of has the same scent, but this one definitely, it it doesn't pull apart as fast, or it doesn't pull apart as easy as the liquid glass one. So this one definitely has more of a putty texture to it definitely soft. So now let's push it up into a ball or into a flat piece and we have the little key UV light. I guess we just push this little thing. Oh wow, see? Look at that. But it's yeah, it seems like it stays there pretty well. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to use this key for my other Aaron Sneaky Putty. I forget which one it is. It's my other, uh, it's my other UV reactive one. I lost the key a long time, or the key stopped working, so I'm excited to try it on that and see how it works. But it definitely spreads on really quick. Like, I feel like with the Aaron Sinking Putty one, it takes a little, it takes a little bit more to get the light or to, to get the color on it, but it seems like it fades, fades, fades very, uh, fairly fast. So if I set it out on the ground or on my on my table, let's see if I can draw something. Yeah, so look at how fast that goes on. I'm I'm really impressed with how how fast the color goes on there. Like that is literally not even I just do that and it the colors on there. So, but it fades though. See how how fast it fades. Let's do that. See. You can see how fast that fades, but it still works very well though. Very cool. Okay, so the last one in the set is this glow-in-the-dark putty. So let's open it up. And this one has, looks like it's another plastic, little plastic piece. So we'll take that off. It sticks to it a little bit. But I wonder what color, I, I imagine this is going to glow yellow, but I'm not sure. First off, this one's actually softer than the um, than the UV reactive putty. This one's softer than that, and it actually pulls apart the easiest out of any of them. So that's my observation first off. And so now let's see if I can put some of the UV 
If you can see that, it's glowing green a little bit. See, look at that. I'm putting some of the UV light on here. And it's glowing green. So that's pretty dang, that's cool. So now when I, now that the lights are off, I spray it with the UV light. And look at that, it glows green. It looks more like yellow on the camera. But it definitely glows. Very pretty, very cool. Look at that. Very stretchy too, so. That is so cool. And after playing with this putty, I would definitely say that I would recommend it. I think it's definitely um, a pr it's pretty good quality putty um, from playing around with it for, for a little bit and feeling it definitely stretchy. The stretchiest is definitely, I would say, the night glowing one. It's definitely the stretchiest and the softest. And then the probably the UV reactant one would go for for, for, for the second uh like for the second stretchiest putty so I would definitely say that and it definitely feels a lot like the super illusions putty and and the air and stinky putty super super illusions putty definitely feels the most like that one and and the crystal clear the the liquid glass one feels pretty similar to the liquid glass except it breaks apart pretty easy when you pull it but that's really really the only thing uh, 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 about it but I, I give these high high reviews i definitely liked them i think if you're looking to buy a lower grade putty that's not that's cheaper that's on the cheaper side i i would definitely say to buy this jaru uh, lab putty so so now i'm just going to be off track for a second but here's my air and stinking putty foxfire and I said that I lost my, my little key light or my key light stopped working for it because I've had it for so long that the key light stopped working. I'm going to try it on my Foxfire and see if it works. Hey, look at that. It works. Thank you guys so much for watching my review. I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it helped you make the decision if you were looking to buy Erin Sneaky Putty or if you were looking to buy the Jaru Lab Putty. So I hope I, I hope you I hope it helped you guys there. And also make sure you guys subscribe because I will be doing some some more reviews of some different I, I have a new brain toy that I'm gonna do to do a review on. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned for more videos and also you guys can follow me down below on Instagram too. I'll put the link down below in the description so you guys can follow me there and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one thanks for watching bye